Splash Bosh, straight into it, baby. Newcastle fans, if you've not seen the new kit reveal, where have you been, mate? Because the brand new home kit for the 24-25 season has dropped by Newcastle and Adidas. Mate, you need to stick around to later in the video because we need to discuss some of the new fashion statements that Newcastle could be dropping and will be dropping this season alongside the home kit, mate. Because trust me, there are so many surprises and it could have the potential to be very, very special. Straight into the home kit there, mate. Bruno G, look at that. Look at that kit. Yeah, people will say that aren't Newcastle fans. Oh, it's just a basic black and white kit, for goodness sake. It's classy. No more Castor. We knew that for so long that Adidas were coming back into the frame for Newcastle. And it feels like donkey's years, mate. It feels like so many years since we've had Adidas and Newcastle, mate. Really like that collar. Really, really like that collar. The only thing that I'd probably change up about that collar, why not make it all just sort of connect, you know? That V-neck just seems a bit loose. Get that tape of that sort of like that black and that white wrapping the whole way around. I know that they've had that recently and also like that V-neck sort of effect as well. I think it might have even been last season with Castor. They had the, and then like the couple of seasons before that when it looped the whole way around. But that's just like vintage Newcastle, mate. That's vintage Newcastle. I want to take you down to this kit here. I think it's 09. 10 was the last time that Newcastle had Adidas. 15 years, mate. Like, I, I couldn't believe it when I was doing a little bit of reading up before hitting record. That it's been 15 years. Of course, they've had Puma. Did they have Puma and then Castor? Was it Puma dominated that long? with Newcastle, which is absolutely bonkers to me, mate. Of course, the classic Northern Rock. And what you see here, that collar is kind of what I'm on about, but I think we saw that last season. A lot of people on Twitter, YouTube, are drawing comparisons to the, was it, is this 0102 and then 0203 kit? So it bled over the course of two seasons, drawing comparisons to this home kit here, which of course the likes of what Nobby Solano, Alan Shearer wore back in the day, mate. It's a lovely piece of kit, and that NTL shirt sponsor is unbelievable. It's got the sort of almost the same sort of like thickness in the sense of the stripes. Probably the white stripe on that classic kit is more thin. Right, this is the thing that I really want to talk about. I, I've spoken about the the leaked kit the home kit at length before and i think it's absolutely beautiful if you saw the video that was dropped on newcastle socials and newcastle's youtube page and whatnot you would have seen some still shots of a number of players wearing the upcoming newcastle sort of like fashion t-shirts hoodies trackies whatever you had alexander Izak walking his dog for goodness sake you had anthony gordon and a number of other players i think dan Byrne was there as well playing pool in a pub this is the only still shot that i could find of anthony gordon but look at this mate this t-shirt that he's wearing classic adidas originals with Newcastle just down below. There's some stripes that are going through as well. This is only this is the best shot that I could find, mate. Oh, Newcastle, thanks a bloody million. Thanks a million, mate. Thanks a million. Halfway through exporting the video, then the coloured photos come out. <laughs> it was about to be released. But never mind. Never mind. Look at these training shirts mate these are absolutely unbelievable They're not even training shirts these are just fashion shirts that people will be able to buy of course they were in black and white for the first edit that i did mate but i've got them in full color here they are unbelievable look at that green and the white that's going through hopefully they've got different colorways coming out as well hopefully for Newcastle fans' sake, they might have a burgundy one coming out like those classic jumpers that we saw all those years ago mate but I'm actually so glad this happened. I didn't want to put that video live for then this to come out as soon as I pressed upload. And I was very, very close, mate. I was very, very close. Of course, we got that still of Anthony Gordon. We couldn't work out what colours they were. Was it just going to be a black and white t-shirt? But no, Newcastle are far more creative than that. And they bring in the green, which we've seen all over. It was used so much in the 90s on t-shirts and jumpers and also kits at the same time as well, mate. We also saw that still of Cass is dead. 
which I've had to edit out and everyone was sort of like, oh my God, is this going to be the third shirt or is this going to be a completely different shirt? This is the shirt that it's going to be, which I think is going to go alongside the home one. So a retro Newcastle Adidas Originals top, which that is so nice, mate. That is so, so sexy. It's beyond belief. Like, ah. <sighs> It makes me so frustrated that I'm not a Newcastle fan, mate. It makes me so frustrated because you get drops like this to go alongside the home shirt. This won't be used on the pitch, but if they use it in like an FA Cup match or something like that, which they won't, that is so class. Everything's going to sell out. Everything's going to be absolutely manic for Newcastle. Like, the, the fan base must be in absolute hysteria. Hysteria, I tell you. Hysteria. Ah. This is one of the best uh, drops that I have ever seen in doing football kits. And not alone football kits, but that I've uh, not just recording football kits, but I'm lost for words because this is this is mental. This is absolutely crazy. Newcastle fans, you have been treated. And what a return to Adidas after, what, 15 years? 15 bloody years, and this is the return that you get. I'm a Fulham fan, and we never get drops like these. Of course, we're a smaller club than like Newcastle, Manchester United, and Arsenal. But I would kill someone. I would probably do 25 years in prison and wear my shirt in prison if it meant that we could have an Adidas Originals this year. Please. Please, please let it be in the works. Please, please, please. But enough of Fulham. Who actually cares? No one cares about Fulham apart from me. Um, the, it, that is just beautiful, mate. Just look at the stripes that are going down, obviously, the classic. And you've also, if you pay close attention to the collar, where it goes between the um, white, bluey, sort of like turquoise, and then black again, mate. And it's same going down, same going down the sides as well with the three stripes. Reminds me of Santiago Munez. It really does, mate. It's that glorious. It's that glorious. So that's the third kit out of question for the old Cass's dead number that we saw a photo of. Um, this away, this third kit, this third kit, a lot of people are questioning what's going to be going on with the third kit and of course Manchester United and Arsenal are set to release um, Adidas Originals as their third kits. This is Newcastle's third kit right here. I am in belief, was that the right word I'm looking for? I believe that Newcastle will probably use Adidas Originals unless they've just blown their load completely and use Adidas Originals. Uh, elsewhere for this uh, special kit which will just be like a collector's item I think that these Adidas Originals pieces and I don't think this is me saying anything outlandish I think it's just fact that these will sell more and I hopefully for Newcastle fans sake that these shirts aren't like limited edition hopefully they've got a boatload because people will be wanting to buy these people will want to be ripping them off the shelves and do you know what I'm actually glad, I'm actually glad that um, that video, that photo, I'm just so lost for words, mate, that photo of all of those have dropped because you get to see them in their full 